Hi, and welcome to our November 12th auction preview video of Asian Arts. We'll start here with this wonderful example of a Korean atlas book. Um, this is also referred to as an atlas of the heavens from above. So it's just a beautiful example. There are nine maps and then at the back, I'm sorry, it's this way. There are these inscriptions. I'm assuming it's some form of a key, uh, but really quite interesting. This is estimated at 1,000 to 1,500 and came in on one of our walk on Wednesday appraisal days. Uh, this is a unusual guan type Chinese vase. So it's these four vases and they're all formed together. It does have a mark on the underside with all of these various glazes, really quite beautiful. And this is estimated at 600 to 900. This is a nice little gilt shrine. So carved wood shrine with the metal mounts. Just see if I can open this for you, which here you go. So here's the interior. Just a nice little Buddha shrine. This is one of my favorite lots in the sale. This is a water buffalo on beautiful carved wood fitted stand with a mirror. But if you look here, you can see the silver inlay. And also there's silver inlay throughout the water buffalo. So I just want you to take a look close up look here. You can just see the beautiful detailing and even the stand is beautifully carved. So it's just a wonderful example. Um, here are two Chinese hexagonal vases with dragons and flowers. Here's the underside. Just a sweet example. Um, and actually there are two Chinese enamel decorated plaques. Here's the first, blue and white. It is signed of two figures beneath a tree. Um, nicely framed in the circular frame. We have a piece of Chinese export silver, so it's a lidded chalice or cup on a footed stand. There are some condition issues, but really quite sweet, and it is signed. Um, here we have an archaic style bronze. So again, this is Chinese um, with a Nixu handle, and then this is kind of a beast. It looks, I think it might be a water buffalo, but I'm not sure. Here's the underside, but really quite nice. One of the stars of the show is going to be this beautiful gilt bronze and polychrome Buddha. Um, this is Ming Dynasty, most surely 17th century. Really just beautiful quality. You can still see the gilding to their face. If you look to the underside, there's just great age to this. Good condition. I mean, there are a few condition issues, but only what's to be expected. Um, and then if we look to the reverse, you're going to see the red paint. Just a wonderful example. Really, really very nice. Um, a nice necklace here of coral and amber, big amber beads, but I really like this piece because I, although this is a condition issue, um, I do believe that this is a repair. But if you just look at these really interesting, the way that they fixed it, are these kind of scroll form, I don't know, but it, here's all the pieces together and it's really so beautifully done. And this is estimated at three to 500. This is one of two pieces of Japanese kutani in the sale. So this is a censer and kind of this temple form. Um, and it is in two pieces and just the pierced ornate floral work throughout this wonderful gilt finial with the red enamel work really quite nice we have this Japanese cloisonne vase with birds and flowers against the black ground just a nice just is so nicely done From one of our Walk on Wednesday appraisal days, we have this small blue and white Chinese dish with chrysanthemums. You can see the six character mark to the underside. Um, so here is an X Sotheby's. And this is a beautiful enamel decorated Chinese kettle of sorts. Let's see, and I just want to lift this up so you can see the underside. So really quite nice. There's a hairline to the bottom but in otherwise good condition. You can see that this fitted piece is missing, but really an interesting item. This is Japanese Edo period. It is a carved wood lacquered Fu Lion, um, but what makes it really nice is that it has these lacquered eyes. You can see that it was probably fitted somewhere. I'm not sure where. There are some condition issues, but that's only to ex be expected with the age, um, but really quite nice at 1,000 to 1,500. Here is a second Chinese enamel decorated sign plaque with figures set beneath a pine tree in this kind of garden pavilion. Um, and this does go together with our first Chinese blue and white plaque. 
This is another one of my favorites from the sale. Beautiful Chinese blue and white vase, but you can see just the animals here. So we do have some deer, there's some cranes, um, beautiful carved wood top with these Rui pendants that match really well to the border here. So there's just this Rui design, a beautiful fitted carved wood base, um, nice size, and then we have the blue double ring mark to the underside. And here we have a more contemporary grouping of Chinese objects. There are 10 articulated and enamel decorated fish. Um, so various sizes, various shapes, but they're just beautifully done. And I think they're so sweet. Moving on to some Japanese prints. These two prints are together. So one is by Kosunobu and the other one is by Koitsu. So we have this wonderful tree here with kind of a garden with walking figures in the back. Um, and the second is the ship at dusk, so really quite nice, and the two together are at three to 500. From our Queen's estate, we have this Chinese brown glazed bowl, um, and the, what makes it interesting though is this turtle surround. So we have these five turtles that are within the glaze. Uh, two pieces together, so we have this Chinese crackle glaze, blue and white, um, vase with birds, flowers, and figures, and this is from Parc Bonnet, and then we have this Chinese Fami Verit vase that was mounted as a lamp, so there is a missing finial and it is drilled through the base. Um, this is a Chinese Fami rose vase, this is Ex Christie's East, um, but what makes it really nice is I think this ruffled edge opening. So that's just really unusual and nice. Here's the underside. And this is with another Sang Buf vase. From the same estate in Queens, this is a Chinese Fami Vert vase. Um, this is an ex Sotheby's Arcade Auctions vase, but it's just nice with the chrysanthemum, multicolored chrysanthemum enamel decoration, the Rui pendants here. Um, if you take a look at the underside, and it does come with this fitted wood top. Ming Dynasty um, underglaze iron red lamp or vase mounted as a lamp, I should say, which makes it nice that it is underglazed. You can see the crackle design here. Um, and then again, from our Queen's estate, we have this Sing de Buff vase with the lion's head, and this one is X Phillips. So you can see the hang tag here. And these nice uh, foo dog head with ring handles. Pair of Chinese blue and white foo dogs, one with a smaller animal and then one with a ball under their foot, but really nice, the two together. Um, again, from our Queen's Estate, we have this bronze mirror. So you can see the underside, just a nice example. Chinese Fami, Ro Fami Verit vase, um, calligraphy with one to one side with the seal stamps, and then this landscape design to the alternate, and then we have a four character mark to the underside. Chinese Happy Buddha in blue and white. Um, just sweet. There is an impressed mark to the underside, a lozenge form. Here we have a Celadon blue and white vase, landscape vase with figures and stag. So really quite sweet. And then we have bats the alternate side. Here is an underside. We're going to jump back to one of my favorite lots in the sale. Um, just this really wonderful Chinese carved coral figural grouping. Um, what's really so nice is you can really see the original form, so you can see the kind of curved form of the coral branch, and then they still utilize the natural form with the arms, and it's depicting these beautiful Quan Yin with a child seated beneath a pine tree. It's really so nice. This is estimated at three to 5,000, um, and I'm excited to see where this piece goes. So we're gonna jump over to this piece first. So this is one of four attributed to Kitiao Masanobu Japanese prints um, of courtesans. So really quite nice. This is one of four, each are in, lotted individually. This is estimated at four to 600, so really quite nice. There is one larger example. All came from one estate. Um, you can also see these nice chairs. So we have this pair of chairs. Um, and then we're going to end the Asian Arts Preview with this really interesting piece. So this is a Chinese watercolor painting, and it's just so beautifully done. It's depicting this beautiful robed female, 
and her arms are outstretched to a cockatoo on this bird stand or bird cage. Um, it's just beautifully depicted. Uh, a state fresh, really quite interesting, estimated at three to five hundred, and it is also signed. So if you can just look over here to the signature and the seal stamps, it's so beautifully done that I can't imagine it's not done by someone who was known and hopefully known for this type of painting. She's just so beautiful. Um, and of course I like it because there's a bird in it. So that wraps it up for our selection of Asian arts coming up on November 12th and we hope to see you there.